Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And I got some exciting news for you. For the some of you have been following me with my tomato growth. This is a beautiful little hydroponic tomato plant that's been growing. Uh, some of you have seen that I've had a couple of videos for this plant and a few updates already. And this plant has produced for me very, very well. This was actually the plant, if you remember, that I grafted together. This was initially two plants that I turned into one and it's grown quite well and if you've seen my earlier videos you've seen this plant was a lot a lot bigger than this it was very bushy it looked like a big giant little jungle in here and tomato plants completely covered up up until the very top here it was actually reaching so high that it kept penetrating through this little metallic tray that I have up here which is the basically the very top of my greenhouse as you see I have the little lights just basically laying on top of the top level which initially wasn't actually a level it maxed out right here but because these this greenhouse has these holes all over the place you could actually put the pipes wherever you really needed to so technically even though that's not a, a spot I created that and made that into a useful space because now my tomato plant has a very big area to grow as you see here and it has a lot of room for new growth now you see here up top basically I had clipped the plant here I cut it there made a big cut there as well as right there this plant was about twice the size than it was as you see right here but the reason why I did that is because I had so many tomatoes and flowers formed I must have had at least maybe 100 to 120 tomato, little tomatoes and little flowers all over this thing and this thing was not changing colors at all the fruit would not ripen they would just basically stay various sizes different fruits are different sizes as you see here a couple of them and because I came in and I clipped a couple of the I clipped the plant basically in half and made it a lot smaller it actually dropped the temperatures down the temperatures were usually above 80 degrees and when a plant is in trying to mature and trying to produce beautiful fruits for you it takes a lot to put on new growth to produce fruits to develop the pigmentation and the colors to put on new suckers so the plant is doing a lot of multitasking but tomato plants are actually very good at doing that and because I initially clipped it about two days ago I noticed now it's actually finally started to change color look right there beautiful beautiful orange and the one back here is actually turning nice orangey red so clipping it and cutting it in half actually made a really really significant difference and the tomatoes are finally starting to ripen I mean I had these tomatoes growing since January basically and now we're in April so I mean this plant has been growing for a very very long time now and even though tomato plants are an annual plant you can grow it all year long basically as long as you have the right temperatures and you can keep this thing alive you could just keep coming in and clipping it up top and new side growth will begin to grow which is basically what I have here happening now and a lot of the old growth is dying off as you see here this is actually something really important that I wanted to talk about Notice how the leaves right here at the very tips, they're like starting to turn brown and they're actually even, look right there, breaking in my hand. This is actually a sign of over nutrients, like it, I'm adding too many nutrients to this plant. As you see here, whenever the it's being grown in a little two, two gallon reservoir, and whenever this thing ran out of nutrients, I, or almost ran out, I would come in and refill it basically two gallons. And this plant has been refilled, I would say maybe four to six times now. So it drinks up pretty heavily. But I mean, if I show you the root system, you'll understand why. Let's see if we can carefully pick this up without damaging anything. Let's try to peek inside. Look at that beautiful mass of roots formed. I mean, this thing is unbelievable and as you see the nutrient levels are going down and look at the roots all all over the place there so i mean this thing is has produced 
very well for me and has grown quite large in this past few months that it's been growing. And I was really surprised that the fruits were just staying there and weren't changing colors, they weren't ripening. And I was doing a lot of research and trying to figure out what it was. So there's basically, if you're having similar problems, there's a few things you could do. The initial thing you want to do is keep the temperatures below 80. As long as they're below 80, the fruits will ripen and get nice and beautiful. Now, let me show you just real quick. If you see currently, my temperatures are showing that it's 86, but that's 86 within the entire space of this greenhouse. Originally, this plant was so built in, like so packed in, I mean, that it made it, even though it said 80 something, it was a lot hotter in there because when you actually come into the greenhouse, all this plastic material around it combined with the heat really traps in the temperatures and really increases the temperatures in here. And because I cut this plant in half and it has all this space for the air to really move around and circulate, I always keep basically the, the, the zipper unzipped to really keep the temperatures controlled. And I mean, I think the results speak for themselves. And these beautiful ripening tomatoes are definitely a, a good indication of me doing a good move. And I was nervous about cutting this plant basically in half. If you look, you've seen my earlier videos. I basically butchered this plant and really, really, I think took a lot of, a lot of the growth off, but because it's not, it doesn't have so much to really pump its energy through and to develop. This plant is really focusing its energy on all of these tomatoes now. And once I get to come in and harvest these tomatoes, all these new growths are going to come in. Like for example, let me show you right there. See right here, everywhere between the main branch and the side branch, there's going to be a new sucker that grows, which will turn into its own branch and its own, it'll have its own flowers and its own fruits on them. So everywhere you have suckers, you could turn, you could either clip it and transplant that and have a new plant. Or you could leave it and it'll grow into its own new plants uh, and have its own new fruit production and everything. So if you want to big bush your plant, leave all the suckers. Or if you want to maintain the plant and its level, you want to be able to come in and clip whatever you need. Look at this beautiful vine right here. Look how many tomatoes are formed there. This thing must have at least 16 to 20 tomatoes probably. Over here we got a couple, probably about 10. Over here we got about 12. Back there we also got about, also about 10. So I mean this thing is really, really doing a good job for me for a little indoor grow and a little small two gallon container. It's really produced very heavily for me. I've had way over a hundred tomatoes on this thing. And I wish I was able to ripen all of those and harvest all of them, but I would definitely settle for half. And don't forget, just because you've grown these and, and harvested them, that doesn't mean the plant is over. It's gonna put a lot of new growth on once you harvest those and pump all, all its energy into new growth and produce new tomatoes. As you see, I already have new little baby tomato flowers forming right there and a little sucker right there in the middle. So as long as I leave this sucker, it'll turn into its own branch like you see here and it'll have its own sets of flowers and leaves and produce nice and big for me. So I'm going to keep this plant nice and trimmed and keep it clipped back. And once I harvest them, I'll be able to show you a little update as far as the new growth. And let's just real quick come back to this discussion that we mentioned earlier about uh, adding too many nutrients. A good solution for this would be basically to take out the nutrients from the system and just put in just plain, plain pH balanced water and just give that for the plant for a few days while it basically takes in the energy. So we're gonna be doing that later tonight. And because this plant is grown and as you see, I tied it up in several area, several places. I have to come in and carefully untie this thing to make sure I'm able to come in and change the reservoir. Cause I used to just basically just top fill everything in. Once it runs out, come in and refill it up top. I would move this thing. I have a couple of extra holes drilled in. And I would just pour it in right there. And so I'm going to come in and change the nutrients tonight and just give it some plain pH balanced water 